Hey everybody, and happy Tuesday. So, um, thought I would do some stamp collecting today. Um, if you watch my channel, you'll be familiar with this album. This is my postage stamp collection. And I love making videos where I add stamps to it. Pretty simple. When this is all said and done, I just want to see every page full of stamps. And this is where we left off. This public education stamp. Um, so I have quite a few uh, different stamps here. Some worldwide stamps. Um, and these are also worldwide. Quite a few sets, but I was thinking that... Um, this album has been U.S. stamps only, so I have a set of U.S. stamps, a, a big set. So I thought it would be cool to just continue to put U.S. stamps in this album. And um, see what we find. This is a kind of a big random bag. Take it out of this cover, and um, there's a certificate of authenticity. Um, and, uh, and here's my my bag of stamps here, the inner bag. a lot so probably a lot more stamps than I can fill up in a video so I wanted to show you first um, some stamps that I really wanted to put in here that I'm crazy about two stamps oh. Two stamps I really like are 3D movies, and it's as you can see, it's a 3D stamp. Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. And Alfred Hitchcock, because um, I love Alfred Hitchcock Presents or any of his movies. And you can also see how they contrast so you can get a better look at them. So let's put these two in here. Okay, so two down. Let's um, start putting stamps in again. First, we've got. Uh, Enrico Caruso, a famous opera tenor from the 1920s. I definitely don't have that one. Next is Girl Scouts USA. And it's all of their patches, their badges. This is Winslow Homer. A famous artist, American artist. And 
Next, we've got Bugs Bunny. Everyone's favorite wacky, wascally rabbit. This is a science fiction stamp. It's spaceships flying by Saturn. It looks like it's also part of a larger picture a puzzle set. Next is Olympians women's tennis 1991. Tennessee cancellation. Very nice stamp. Next is Arkansas Statehood, eighteen thirty six to nineteen eighty six, and the old state house in Little Rock. Next, we got an old one. This is a three stamp NRA stamp. And this is not the National Rifle Association. This is part of the alphabet soup during the Great Depression. Let's see if we can fit one more on that corner. And we've got George C. Marshall, general, soldier, statesman, uh, general during World War II. Next, we've got fairly old stamp. Five cents United States postage, Johnny Appleseed. Planted apple trees. And let's go ahead and put this beautiful 1931 cord in there from the classic car series from the 80s. Early 90s, maybe. That was more like 1991. Next, we got um, Can California gall and seagull lily. So it's a seagull and a flower. And it says Utah USA 20 cents. That California gall in Utah can get a little confusing. We seem to have three more Caruso stamps. I'm gonna set these aside as doubles. So I'm gonna make this a double spot. Um, this is Christmas, six cents. And we'll get a good look at this painting here. And a couple of doubles. Put that in the double spot. Um, establish justice to ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense to promote the general welfare. The preamble of the U.S. Constitution, USA 22 cents.
This is United Way, 1887 to 1987, Uniting Communities. Very colorful stamp. Having a hard time. This is Junipero Serra, U.S. Airmail, and he is a famous friar from the Western United States. I think San Junipero, I think he is San Junipero, or he's named after San Junipero. Ooh, what is this one? Um, Freedom of the Press, a four cent old vintage stamp. Look at that. This is Native American headdresses. And it's Shoshone. And actually, the orientation is like that. Western history. Next, a very uh, pretty Christmas stamp. Career and Ives Christmas 10 cents in the Christmas sleigh. And I believe this is a stamp from the 70s. George M. Cohen, Yankee Doodle Dandy, Performing Arts, 15 cents. Uh, I would put this place to stamp in the 70s. Uh, there was a movie with James Cagney called Yankee Doodle Dandy about uh, George Cohen. So um, he was a vaudevillian at the turn of the century, turn of the last century. On these lighthouse stamps. Admiral Head. Admiralty Head, Washington. It's a nice lighthouse. I wonder if they call all lighthouses heads, if that's something specific to lighthouses. Got another pretty Christmas stamp here. 20 cents. Um, it means it's probably in the 80s. Kind of reminds me of a Charlie Brown Christmas when they're all decorating the tree. You know, stamp collecting is really relaxing. This is a good way to wind down and shake off a work day. Friendship with Morocco. Look at that one. 1787 to 1987. This is the United States. Give me liberty or give me death. Quote by Patrick Henry. This is a very old stamp. It says Credo. Four cents. 50s or 60s.
This is a very pretty uh, merry-go-round stamp. It's a camel merry-go-round. Very nice. We've almost got a whole other page done here. But I really do like this train engine here. Buchanan's number 999. 1893. That engine. Move this up so you can see. Okay. Here we have. Washington Territory organized March 2nd, 1853. And this is a centennial stamp, so this is a 1953 stamp. And this was canceled on May 15th. Toscanini, another uh, kind of goes along, kind of not really Enrico Crusoe, but he's a he's a conductor, not a tenor. Okay, what is this one? United States of America, Security, Education, Conservation, and Health for Defense. This tells you that this stamp was World War II. If it has for defense on it. This just says volunteer lend a hand, 20 cent stamp. And then it has two uh, drawings of hands on it. This one's a little bit wrinkled. Let's try to straighten it out. Once we get it into this album. Oh, it may not fit there, so let's hold off. Let's get a, a narrow one. Why don't we put in... Paul Dudley White, MD. Time to turn the page. Okay, let's continue. And let's uh, put this nice Christmas stamp in. Uh, nice Grandma Moses kind of scene, or uh, really pleasing winter scene. You can even make out the people, they're dressed like the early 1800s with the hat and everything. The woman wearing the long shawl, the sleigh. Susan B. Anthony. Uh, women's right activist. Um, she was famous for being a suffragette and helping women get the right to vote. Uh, they put her face on the silver dollar in the 1970s.
very big and pretty stamp. The Whooping Crane. 29 cent stamp. Very large, epic scale stamp. It's got metallic writing. Henry O. Tanner. American Painter. Another one with metallic paint. Minerals USA. And we're looking at copper. And I dare say they might have actually put copper into the stamp to achieve that effect. But I like the metallic ink too. Another kind of epic scale stamp here. And let's close this section off with a nice tall Christmas stamp. Santa Claus, Twas the Night Before Christmas. We've got uh, Dorothea Dix. She was in the Civil War. She started the Nursing Corps. Um, she made a proclamation that all female nurses should be plain women. <laughs> Famous baseball player Lou Gehrig. Um, the disease. I think is it ALS. It's named after him. Um, he contracted the disease, and in raising awareness, it was given his name. was this crazy stamp this is happy bicentennial australia all right a friendship stamp between the united states and australia represented by the eagle and the koala 1788 to 1988 and boy and i have to admit if there's one country i think that we're really love in america it's got to be australia um we just adore that country we have so much australian breast-themed things here and we just think Australia is the greatest thing in the world if you live in America and I don't think there's anything wrong with that um, but we love I think we love all well, at least good Americans love all the countries because there's something to appreciate about all of them this is Minnesota bicentennial era um, cold state i always think about fargo the movie even though it's named after a town in north dakota most of the action of the movie takes place in minnesota an up <laughs> um here is an old one virgin islands never seen this one Charlotte Amaz, U.S. Postage, three cents. I've never seen a Virgin Islands stamp. No, this is an old one either. Very cool. Ah, something we could always use a little bit more of in the world love the love stamp 20 cents i think this is from the 80s they made a lot of different variations of the love stamp to hopefully well number one it's a good thing to put on a, on a love letter or a letter to a loved one and number two it just is a reminder that 
We should love each other, not hate each other. Okay. Um, here we got a good old classic 8 cent US Air Mail stamp. Very solid red and white stamp here. Some of you might wonder, what is the rhyme or reason to my stamp collection? Is there any order to this? Or No, there's not. I just put them in as I find them. And then I find that flipping through the pages, when they're in here, it makes me happy. And that's all there is to it. I like to look at them, and I can just flip through this. And, like, look, there's some of the other headdresses. I, I could go and get that Shoshone one and start to sort this out and that might be something to do later but for the most part I just like to look at them you know I mean there's so many different ones and so many different stories with all these stamps so uh, that's that's my rhyming reason none um, maybe you try to figure out who the people were Who is that? That is Rach is that Rachel? Rachel Carson? It's hard to read the cancellation is covering it up a lot of it. I vaguely remember seeing this stamp. Back when I was a kid, we didn't have forever stamps, so what happened was is uh when this this the rates changed you had to get these smaller stamps to make the difference. Henry Cushing, MD, another doctor stamp. Let me get some coffee here. I love a cup of coffee after a long work day. Electric Auto 1917, an electric car. Well, how about that? Over a hundred years ago, we had a Tesla. Okay. Let's continue. Try to find something neat here. This is... First American Streetcar New York City. First American Streetcar New York City, 1832. That's what a streetcar looks like in 1832. Oh, I hit the camera. Sorry. Rise of the Spirit of Independence, and what you're looking at here is a printing press. And they printed newspapers, and they printed broadsides, which were like flyers they would put up to, um, to distribute the message. Okay, let's squeeze one in on the corner there. This is um, Mr. Alden Partridge. And he looks like he's wearing a Navy uniform. Or that could be an old Army uniform from like the 1840s or something. I'm guessing Navy though. Let's continue. It's the 100th anniversary of mail order. And that's a cool one. Not sure if I've ever seen it, but you see the guy picking up the package. You see a dog. Family. Colorful, simple 
the folk art style. I really like this one a lot. This plastic is very tight, which is good. It holds these stamps in. I hope this album exists, exists long after I'm gone so someone else can enjoy it. Okay. Classic Elvis Presley from the 50s. Rock and roll singer, 1935 to 1977. Uh, when he died, it was a big deal. I can remember. Um, I was three. So, um, it was just all over. I mean, that's all they talked about <laughs> until Star Wars. Or, well, I mean, um, it was... I can't remember what month it was, but that was a, a very big deal when he passed away. We got here William Piper, aviation pioneer, Piper aircraft. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I want to say that's still a brand of uh small aircraft and then we got a double put it in the double stack um oh i do like this stamp a lot in the beginning god and it's apollo 8 six cents united states in the view uh from the lunar surface up to the earth it's a very dramatic stamp celebrating America's space program. And here, another type of transportation achievement, a ship, a sail ship. And this is a Connecticut stamp, January 2nd, 1788. Got a metallic sheen to it. course I like Ike President Eisenhower or the General Eisenhower eight cents this stamp was in the 70s I remember it was it just seemed to exist forever it's a very popular stamp okay next we've got Look at this little stamp. An 18 cent, it's a little tiny 18 cent stamp with a deer on it, so simple. Just a simple little 18 cent stamp. I used to, when this stamp came out, I remember this came out 80s or 90s, and we, my mom loved this one. She loves owls. And we used to put this one on a lot of letters. What's this? Another train stamp. The John Bull. 1831, 22 cents. Oh, we saw the Bugs Bunny earlier in the video, but now here's Daffy Duck. It's staying next to a mailbox and, whoop, I hit the camera. And it, the mail says to Daffy.
This is NATO, U.S. Posters, Three Cents, Peace, Strength, Freedom, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. dinosaurs now when I was a kid these stamps came out and I was so excited and my parents bought me a set of postcards to go with them so I was of course like most kids my age loved dinosaurs and it's a brontosaurus stamps like the main character from the land before time Littlefoot I don't know if you've seen that movie or not let's see if we can squeeze another little stamp there Just be able to get this one. This is an old stamp. It's got the Golden Gate on it. 20 cents. This stamp goes way back. Pushing 100 years old. All right. Another page knocked out. Let's move our tray to the opposite side. Here we have Henry Clay, um, famous for the Compromise of 1850. Um, Many people think that he saved the country from the Civil War for 10 years with his sheer ability to compromise. Of course, that was going to be an inevitability, but he did what he could. Next, we have a Christmas stamp, and on the stamp we see a drum and a trumpet, a wreath, by a window, a 15 cent stamp. You know, you see a lot of Christmas stamps because that's one of the main times the mail was exchanged. At least back then, I don't know about now, but um, you know, Christmas cards. Next we have Chicago, 1833 to 1933. That tells you that this stamp is from 1933. Wow. Middle of the Great Depression. Next is... President Monroe. The shortest president we've ever had. Five, standing five foot four inches. Uh, or maybe I'm thinking about Madison. I stand corrected. That's James Madison was the shortest president. My bad. <laughs> this is Chief Red Cloud. Came to Washington, D.C. in 1876 to uh, talk with President Grant about the reservation system. Straight up told President Grant that it was a bunch of lies. That he was wined and dined. Next we have uh, unusual for this series of presidents, we have Martha Washington, the first lady. On the famous president series, we're on a one and a half cent stamp. And not to be outdone, let's put her next to Thomas Jefferson from the same series, three cents. 
You can also get a good idea of how these look. They complement each other very well. This is how we are it's a double. Here's another one of those science fiction stamps, and instead of Saturn, it's some rocket men blasting off in front of a moon. What is this one? Look at that. U.S. Airmail, 31 cents. It's got a picture of both sides of the planet. Okay. What do we have here? United States postage due. What is a postage due, you ask? Well, a long time ago, um, if you, there was not enough postage on the letter, they would stick one of these on it, and you would have to pay to get your letter. So um, it was kind of like a voucher. It was put on, and um, then you owed five cents to get your letter, which I don't think anything like that exists anymore. next this is Hubert Humphrey vice president under Nixon I think first vice president under Nixon and then he no wait 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 I Spiro Agnew was Nixon's vice president then it was Ford Hubert Humphrey who was he vice president under oh my gosh I'm blanking um, okay, let me see. Roosevelt was Truman. Truman, then I, the C. Eisenhower was Nixon. Was uh, Hubert Humphrey under Truman when Truman ran again? Okay, then Nixon, after Nixon was, okay, after Eisenhower was Kennedy. Kennedy's was Johnson. Johnson... Maybe he was under Johnson when Johnson did another term. Oh gosh, I'm blanking. I apologize. I usually, my history is so much better than this. Totally blanked. I'm embarrassed. It happens. I'm tired. After work. The one cent stamp. 1932. That's an oldie. But a goodie. Now it's gonna bother me. Is Hubert Humphrey Johnson's vice president? Gosh. Johnson, Nixon was Agnew and Ford. After Ford, no vice president. Then Carter was Mondale. Then Reagan was Bush. Yeah, it has it has to be Johnson. Yeah, it's Johnson. It has to be. Someone can leave a comment. Here's a 19 cent stamp. A simple picture of a boat tied to a little one of those dock thingies. Very simple stamp. Kind of like the deer we saw. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to put both these guys in because it's. James Buchanan kind of goes with this set right here.
And next to James Buchanan, we're going to have Andrew Jackson, seven cents. The hero of New Orleans. Battle of New Orleans, that is. Next is first gubernatorial election in Puerto Rico, 1949. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? Here's another one of these, and it's Martin Van Buren. He was president during the Amistad affair. He was succeeded by William Henry Harrison, who died after one month. Because during his address, the inaugural address, he contracted the flu, turned into pneumonia. By standing out in the rain without a hat on. U.S. postage. Newspaper boys. In recognition of the important service rendered their communities and their nation by Americans. Newsies. You see the neighborhood below and the newsies. The only thing that's missing is the newsie cat. The famous hat. The newsies. Always wore. <laughs> Next is Hap Arnold, military officer in the Air Force, I think. I was in the Air Force. Um, I think he was. Um, if I'm wrong, sorry. Like I said, I'm blinking today. Um, next is. Pearl S. Buck uh, wrote books about China. Um, I read it a lot when I was in school. Next is... Um, have we seen this one yet? Philip Mize, Patriot Remembered on this U.S. Airmail stamp. This is um, Igor Stravinsky. Oh gosh, I'm blanking. Writer or musician? I can't remember. Next is Pioneer Probe to Jupiter. Kind of reminds me of Star Trek, um, the motion picture when they find V'ger and it was actually. Voyager 6 or something and it was a probe that went all the way and became sentient and then wanted to come back and meet God who was the humans who made it. Here's another love stamp and it's like a Valentine's Day. One with roses and a heart and a little dove in the middle. Okay. Here we have Brussels, Universal and International Exhibition, 1958, United States Pavilion in Brussels. So we had a pavilion there. Let's see, where are we at? Next we have 
United States Postage, the Utah Centennial. This is a 1947 stamp. This is the place. See the covered wagon? And he's pointing. This is the place. Next we have Everglades National Park in Florida, United States Postage. Very pretty stamp with a was that a crane? One of those swamp birds. And oh, this is an interesting one. Um, a railroad mail car, 1920s. Pretty sort of first class stamp. It's got a little dog ear on it, which we can fix. Maybe not. That might be a little corner tear, but that's okay. Next, what is this one? This is a Coretta 1770s. Look at the wheels on that thing. Nonprofit. Whoop, I hit the camera. 7.6 cents. This is a nonprofit rate. Next. To go with our Coretta, why don't we add a popcorn wagon from 1902. Isn't that cool? It's a bulk rate stamp. Okay, can you see? Okay. Here we have St. Charles Streetcar, New Orleans, Louisiana, 1923. What is this? The Bill of Rights, United States. Wow. The rights of the people shall not be violated. There's a very designy stamp there. I don't think we've seen this one yet. Another pretty Christmas stamp with a Madonna and Child on it. What is this? This is Daniel Webster, the Dartmouth College case, 1819. One more tall one here. Marquis de Lafayette, 1957 stamp. Okay, pick up our stamps and turn the page. What we got here? This is Daniel Boone. Look at that crazy stamp. The Kentucky rifle, the tomahawk, the powder horn. 3D stamp here with Statue of Liberty, the Centennial 1986 stamp. That was a very big deal in 1986. 
Oh. Let's add in, let's throw in a couple more postage dues just for good measure. This guy was two cents postage due. Fireworks over the flag. It's a pretty stamp. Oh, what is this? This is Parent Teachers Association. I always think about the Harper Valley PTA. With that movie was Barbara Eden. About wearing mini skirts. <laughs> We got some good ones coming up here. Um, it's double. Um, try to find. Oh, here's one. This is Lucy Stone, fifty cents. Got a bunch of exciting stamps here, so let's see what we got. Um, contributors to the cause. Haim Solomon, financial hero. Uh, world peace through law. That's a pretty stand. Oh, another one my mom would like. The Great Gray Owl. Wildlife Conservation, 15 cents. And this is Osteopathic Medicine. Look at that one with a shadow, it's really cool. What is this guy? United States Postage, the Baltimore, Baltimore and Ohio Railroad chartered February 28, 1827. 125 years, so 1927 plus 25 is 1952. And what have we got here? Francis Perkins, 15 cent stamp. Okay, well, we have been stamp collecting for a whole hour, and I hope you enjoyed sitting with me. I'm going to go ahead and put it up for now, and then I will continue again. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon, find out when I have more videos, and leave a comment, uh, answer some of the questions I asked, or ask some of your own. Um, I like to read comments and like to answer them, so... Um, and click, clicking like really helps my channel more than you know. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps my videos get more exposure and it'll, I'll keep doing what I do maybe even more often. So if you like my channel, please think about supporting me by just doing the simple things of liking it and subscribing. So um, until next time, have a good evening. Bye.